What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modern Rex and Samsung has finally announced the Galaxy Note 7. Now this is pretty much everything that we expected from this device, but it is more than just a Galaxy S7 Edge clone with an S Pen. These are the top five new features of the Galaxy Note 7. Let's go ahead and get started. New feature number one, and this is a feature that I am really pumped about, is the dual edge display. The Note series now includes a dual edge display. This is not the pronounced dual edge that you get from the Galaxy S7 Edge. It is more of a subtle edge that just basically makes the front of the display look seamless with no bezels. It looks really awesome, and it makes the edges of the phone feel super thin. In the past, Samsung has separated devices like with the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge, Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, and I've always said that the flagship phones should include those dual edge features because they just look amazing. But I just love the look of that design with the dual edges. It's something that Samsung does that no other company is doing. It just makes the phone look unique. New feature number two is the IP68 dust and water resistance. Until you have a waterproof phone, you don't know how much you will enjoy it. I've been able to clean my Galaxy S7 Edge in the sink and being able to do that on a Note series phone is amazing. Not only is the Note 7 waterproof, but also that S Pen is waterproof and potentially you will be able to use the S Pen on your Note 7 underwater. Of course, the main thing is you won't have to worry about being out in the rain and you don't know how many times that has come in handy in using devices like the Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge where everyone else is scrambling trying to get their phone out of the rain I'm just simply using my phone like a boss in the rain with no worries that it's going to damage my device. New feature number three is the inclusion of Gorilla Glass 5. That's right, the front and back of the Note 7 are both wrapped in Gorilla Glass 5. This will be the first device to feature Gorilla Glass 5. Gorilla Glass 4 was focused on protecting your phone when dropping it on rough surfaces. Gorilla Glass 5 just takes that to the next level. You should be able to drop your Galaxy Note 7 from 5 feet onto a rough surface and it won't break 80% of the time. In Corning's testing, 4 out of 5 times, Gorilla Glass 5 survives a drop from 5 feet onto rough surfaces. That, along with the new harder aluminum being used in the Note 7, should make for a pretty durable device. New feature number 4 is the return of the micro SD card slot. This is a feature that many Galaxy Note fans really moaned about when it was lacking in the Note 5. The micro SD card slot finally makes a return in the Galaxy Note 7, which means that you'll be able to expand the storage on your device up to 256 gigabytes, which is great considering the phone actually comes stock with 64 gigabytes of storage space. Last but certainly not least is the show-stopping new feature, the iris scanner. Now your phone will have dual layers of protection. Not only will you have a fingerprint scanner, but now you'll have an iris scanner and it seems to work pretty well. So after registering your irises with the device, once you've looked at it several times to unlock your phone, it tends to be pretty quick. So you can simply raise the phone to your face, wake it up, look at the device, and it unlocks your phone. I have to admit the iris scanner seems a little gimmicky, but I'll have to actually wait and test it out for myself to see how quick it is. I have a feeling that I'll probably stick to the fingerprint scanner, but being able to unlock your phone with your irises is super cool, and you'll be able to impress your friends with that awesome new feature. As you can see, the Galaxy Note 7 is not just a Galaxy S7 Edge clone, with an S Pen, it actually has some pretty awesome new features. This is definitely a great upgrade if you're coming from the Note 5 and especially the Note 4. You're going to want to have the Note 7 with all these extra new features. That about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.